you must know about the binding tool in clothes ready. Hi, I'm Rose Willie from Encoder Fashion. I have a tip to make designing fun and efficient for you. Where is the binding tool? The binding tool is located in the 3D toolbar. I'm going to the binding tool and you see right here, there are two tool icons which are very similar. So above here is the piping tool. In this video, we will focus on the binding tool. So if you're not familiar with this tool, you just hover your mouse over the tool and you see the text appear. So we want to select the binding tool. To select it, we're going to click on it. How to use the binding tool? To use the binding tool, again, we are here in Close 3D. I'm going to go to the binding tool in toolbar, click on it, then come over here. Let me zoom in by scrolling your mouse wheel forward to zoom in. And I'm going to pan it down just a little bit. To pan it down, press on Alt and let's click on your mouse and then click on the object and you can pan it down, pan it left, pan it right, how would you like. Okay. So I'm going to apply binding tool. We are going to click on, you see this blue point right here? Click on one to begin, then continue clicking one, one, and then at the end point, we want to click it twice. Okay. Now, to be sure whether we apply the binding on the fabric, we're going to come down here to the edit binding tool, click on it. And if you come over here, you see, just hover your mouse over it. You can see the yellow highlight. That means you just apply the binding on top of your project. And if we look to the right, while the binding is active, you come over here, you see type is under. We want to change that to over. Then you see under dimension, we want to change the width to one centimeter. Just click on it to highlight or you just select and then type in number one and press enter. Next, we're going to come down here to fabric. If you see to the right, I want the binding to have a different color rather than red. So you click on the arrow right there. You see what fabric that we have available for us the fabric that I created earlier. So I'm going to click on trim. Okay. So as a result, you come over here to your project and zoom in just a little bit. Again, scroll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in. And you see we have like this perfect binding. That's what we want. I'm going to show you another tip guys. So Come down here. This is a half circle. Okay. Let's say we, instead of start our binding from the beginning over here, we want to start around this area. However, we can't do that because you see this red dot, that red dot, it's a warning dot, which means you can't apply the binding. You have to apply it where you see this point. So, to apply the binding on to this area, we have to create a point right there. To do so, I'm going to the 2D windows and I'm going to select this. You see right here, if you hover your mouse over that tool, it say add point slash split line. Click on it and then you come over here, click on the edge right here to place the point. After that, come back to this 3D window and then go to the binding tool, click on it. And now when we come over here to a project, now we see the blue dot. That means okay for us to apply the binding. So click on the blue dot one to begin the binding and continue clicking. 
make sure to continue clicking one along the line or your binding doesn't know where to go and it doesn't work, okay? So now we come to this endpoint. We want to stop. To stop that, we're going to double click on it. Now to check whether we apply the binding onto a project or not, you come back to the edit tool right here. Then click or just hover the mouse over it, you will see the yellow highlight. Now we can come over here, you see to the property editor and below that we want to change from under to over. Again, you can select whether over or under is your choice, but for this demonstration, I'm going to choose over. Now, you see under dimension, I'm going to change it to one centimeter. Click on it and then type in one and press enter. Next, come to fabric and to the right hand side, we're going to do the same. We're going to select trim. And guys, just a tip. In the fabric property right here, you must create the fabric or add more fabric before you can see the selection of fabrics right here. If you only have one type of fabric, you can only see once, okay? And now come down here under grain direction. We want that to be biased. If you click on this arrow right here, just hover your mouse over it. You will see VEF, custom, or buy it. We're going to select bias. After we change the property of the bias, we're going to zoom in just a little bit more to see what it looks like. It looks really pretty. Let's say we don't want that bias. Okay, we decided to, ah, uh, I don't want the bias there. So what we're going to do, again, go to the edit binding tool, and then click on it. And after we select the binding, we're going to just click delete on the keyboard to delete the binding. What do we use the binding for? Next, I'm going to show you how to apply the binding onto a dress. To do so, I'm going to pan her up a little bit. So I'm going to press down Alt and then left click and then drag her up just a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in again. Scroll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in. And I'm going to hide the avatar, which is easier for us to apply the binding. To do so, we come over here. You see this avatar and just click on her to hide. Next, I'm going to want to rotate the garment so it's easy for us to apply. To rotate the garment, press on Alt and right click on your mouth and then drag left to rotate to the left, drag right to rotate to the right and drag forward and down just a little bit so we can apply the binding onto the next, okay? So again, guys, we're going to go to the binding tool, click on it and right here, just hover your mouse over it and click on that blue point one to begin and then continue clicking again guys be sure to keep clicking if you don't click along the way the binding tool doesn't understand where you want to place the binding and it doesn't work okay now at the end we want to double click to finish okay so I'm going to zoom in just a little more, scroll down the mouse wheel forward to see whether we apply a binding onto the dress. It looks like we did. Okay. Next, I'm going to rotate the garment by press down all and right click on your mouse because we're going to apply the binding to the sleeve. Again, come to the binding tool, click on it. Then click on one to begin, continue clicking, 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 and then double click to finish. 
And next, we're going to rotate the garment to the right side so we can apply more binding. Again, press down all, right click to rotate. And there we go. So as you can see right here, it is hard to see whether we apply the binding on to the sleeve or not. To check that and verify, we come to the edit binding tool, click on it. And you see as soon as you click on this edit binding tool, you see the yellow highlight? That means we applied the binding onto the sleeve. Except, you see right here, we did not apply to this area. However, because when I create the pattern, I did not link this side to the other side. I only link certain part of the patterns. But that's okay. We're going to go back to the binding tool, click on it. And we're going to begin the binding by click on one onto the blue dot. Then continue clicking. Then come to the end, double click to finish. All right. So it looks like we apply the binding onto the dress. Now we're going to again go to the property editor. Before we're going to do that, I'm going to edit binding tool one more time, click on it to make sure if we have applied all the binding to the dress. And just hover your mouse over to the binding area. You can see the highlights right there, right there. Okay. So just click on it to make sure. Then you come to the right. We're going to change the type to over, change the width to one centimeter. Again, guys, you have to wait till it's rendered or locked up. So after it's rendered, we're going to change the width to one centimeter. Type in one, press enter. And after that, we're going to come to fabric. I'm going to change that to trim. And I'm going to, you see under grain and direction. It's always default to bias because we used this binding tool before and it's remember that we wanted bias, okay? So now we're going to do the same with the sleeve. So after we finish with the neck, we're going to continue with the sleeve. I'm going to click on the edit binding tool and then click on the sleeve. And this time I'm going to hold down shift and select another area as well. Then come over here. I'm going to change to over, then change here to type in one, then press enter. Then di under dimension, I'm gonna change the width to one centimeter. To do so, you click on it, and then type on one, and then press enter. And next, I'm going to change, you see under fabric, we're going to change it to trims. And below that, you see grain direction. We don't need to change it again because last time we used the binding tool, we select the bias. So Chloe try to make it easier for us and remember uh, last use. So let it render. It looks like the binding around the sleeve is a little bit too big for one centimeter. So I'm gonna edit and change it to a smaller width. To do so, come down here to the edit binding tool, click on it. And then you come down here again, click on it and then hold down shift to click on some other part that's not yet selected. Then I'm going to come over here under edit property and click on it and change it to 0.5 press enter and now we're going to view our binding i kind of like one centimeter on the neck and point half centimeter on the sleeve let me get out of the binding tool so guys if you see the matching on around this dress that means your binding tool is still active so to get out of that binding tool, just go to the move tool right here, click on it. Now you are out of the binding tool. So I'm going to rotate 
the dress one more time. To do so, press down Alt and right click and then drag. A dress looked really, really cool. Now you have it. We just master the binding tool in Clothes 3D. There's more information under this video. Bye!